Gaia represents the continuity of life on Earth. Thanatia, the loss of the resources that maintain this life. The time span between Gaia and Thanatia, between life and devastation, can be measured by the second law of thermodynamics. And the assessment of this depletion can be used to estimate the year where production of the main mineral commodities could reach its zenith. The expiry date of the Earth's resources, perhaps sooner than we imagine. The Earth has become a mine, but nature is no longer found in abundance. And man converts natural goods into monetary capital as if money were completely substitutable for nature. It is not. Man is responsible for accelerating the natural cycles. Man extracts mineral resources and disperses them. Man consumes fossil fuel and provokes the solution of materials in the sea. Man rips the heart out of the forests and blackens the very lungs of the earth without replacing anything, because there are no spare parts. Replacing forests, reconcentrating metallic ores extracted from mines, or converting CO2 and water back into hydrocarbons and oxygen would require such an amount of energy, knowledge, and time that it would become insurmountably costly and almost practically impossible. Yet this can be assessed through thermodynamics. Thanatia is postulated as a possible end to the Anthropocene period. This is the starting point for assessing the loss of natural resources of the Earth. It is the embodiment of non-violent death and describes the possible state of the Earth when all concentrated materials have been extracted and dispersed throughout the crust and all fossil fuels have been burned. If we postulate the end, we acquire a sense of destiny and a concern for curbing the race towards deterioration. Conventional accounting systems are not sufficiently robust to comprehensively assess mineral resource depletion. The materials required for mining, manufacturing, using, recycling, and landfilling are accounted for in a cradle-to-grave approach. So the problem of mineral depletion is only partially accounted for. But how much would it cost to replace everything we destroy? Will the day come when we have to extract minerals from the stones themselves? Some phenomena can be better explained by other approaches a grave-to-cradle approach, reflecting the debt that man acquires over consecutive generations. Rather than in cycles, the life of mineral resources forms spirals that sooner or later disperse into Thanatia. The more spirals we can generate by reusing and recycling, the further away we are from entering Thanatia. Cycles never close. They form downgrading spirals. The exhaustion of the planet is still in its dawn, but we've gone too far, too soon. Ingenious ideas and practices that support survival for humanity must be created, and preventive maintenance must be rapidly undertaken. Man, as a species, must contemplate survival. To do so, we must know how much sand remains in the hourglass. Thermodynamics is the key. This is no science fiction novel, it is science. Sustainability is a voyage, Thanatia a destiny. <laughs>